episode, we commemorate National Veterans Week, mark the 25th anniversary of the crash of Box Top 22, give an update on the Canadian Service Combatant Project, and we tell you about a CAF agency and its recent achievements. Welcome back to Defence Team News. I'm Shelley Van Hoof. And I'm Captain Shalako Smith. Here's what's going on Defence for the week of November the 7th. It's National Veterans Week, a time to remember and honour our veterans' courage, service and sacrifice. Wear a poppy, attend a ceremony or visit a memorial to pay your respects to our brave men and women who died in service to their country. You can also visit the Veterans Week webpage for more information on scheduled events being held across Canada and how to plan a ceremony in your region. On October 30th, the RCAF, along with partner institutions, commemorated the 25th anniversary of the crash of Box Top 22 at Eight Wing Trenton. The crash took place in 1991 during the biannual resupply mission to Canadian Forces Station Alert called Operation Box Top. The crash, which took the lives of five Canadian Armed Forces members, led to the boldest and most massive air disaster rescue mission ever undertaken by the Canadian military in the high Arctic. Ultimately, 13 lives were saved. The Royal Canadian Navy is in the midst of its most intensive and comprehensive period of fleet modernization and renewal in its peacetime history. Recently, a request for proposal was launched for the warship design and modification of the Canadian surface combatant and will serve as the backbone of tomorrow's Navy. The project will be the largest and most complex shipbuilding activity undertaken in Canada since the end of the Second World War. Through this transition to the future fleet, the Royal Canadian Navy will continue to deliver on its core mission through the employment of its modernized Halifax-class frigates. As Canada is a maritime nation and has the longest coastline of any nation on Earth, these new ships will ensure that the Canadian Armed Forces can continue protecting the sovereignty and security of Canadian waters. And finally, bravo Zulu to the Canadian Forces Housing Agency, which recently received two awards from the non-profit organization Excellence Canada. CFHA received its gold level certification in the Excellence, Innovation and Wellness Standard, as well as the Canada Award for Excellence. Among its numerous achievements, CFHA created centralized and customer focused services. CFHA's innovations help reduce the need for maintenance, facilitate the upgrading of homes and improve the quality of life for military families who live in its units. Bravo Zulu to everyone over at CFHA. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time for Defense Team News.